Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is going to take a look at line weights and line types and line type scale and really the first thing we're going to look at is line weight and this is the thickness of the line um, just think if you were drawing this with a pencil and paper and you want something to stand out better you might make it a heavier line and a thicker and darker line and that's what line weights do in AutoCAD so you can see this drawing here it's just a simple part and what I'm going to do is turn the line weights on so that now you can see what a difference it makes so you can see okay these are the real objects and these other ones are uh, representing something different it looks like now if I look at this one here this one should also be a heavier line weight so I'm just going to do a match properties and now it all looks the same so you can just use this like uh, icon here turn them on or off and it's easy enough to change from uh, by layer or back to where it was I'll just undo that so that's pretty much how line weights work uh, a lot of times when I'm drafting I'll just leave them off because it's uh, I find it a le little easier to look at but it's really a personal preference and in the end it's really just a display preference of how you want your drawings to look now of course your company you're working for your clients they may have specific guidelines and standards that will uh, determine how your line weights work but as you're learning uh, make sure you know how to work with them and change them and you'll be good to go the other thing we're going to look at is line types now if I click on this line and go to its quick properties and I just got to bring this up here you can see its line type is hidden too but it doesn't look like that because the line type scale is so large so I'm going to type in LTS for line type scale and it's at 20 and that's too big what it's done is scaled the breaks and gaps of the hidden line up dramatically so I'm going to set it to 1 and see where that works and that works pretty good um, what I might do is make it just a little bigger and go to a line, sky, line type scale of 2 and now you can see that just by adding line types and line weights you can really make a impact on your drawing and you can easily see with a something like an isometric view here what a difference it makes from the original so one other thing I'm going to look at here is I've got two center lines here and you can't really tell they're center lines they just look solid so what I'm going to do is just select both of them and go to properties and the line type scale is set to 2 and I'm going to set this to 0.5 and you can see there's a bit of a gap there and let's see how that looks I'm going to actually make them even a little smaller I'm going to go to 0.2 and now you can see that they look like center lines a bit and you can see how once again it makes a difference it's not just a regular dimension line but it is a center line going to a center mark indicating that these dimensions the one inch here and the 1.5 go to the center mark and the center of the circle so that's pretty much uh, how they work now what if you have a different drawing uh, let's just take a look at this floor plan and it's a bigger drawing and you'll see that it's got phantom lines for all the electrical wires here it's just kind of roughed out and let's see and you can see the line type scale here is 0.5 so there's really not much difference between a large floor plan drawing and just a smaller uh, parts drawing 
So if I put in the line type scale of 1, you can see how it's changed this line a little. Just have a look at this one. I'll change it again to uh, 2. And you can see the higher the number, the longer the lines get. So if I go down to point 1, you, it looks like it's uh, solid, but when in fact they've become so small that the gaps are very small. So I'll go back to a line type scale of 1, and you can see them again. And when you're first working with this, it can be tricky, um, but just try a few things. Um, try zooming in like I had to there to see whether my line type scale was too big or too small and uh, you'll be good to go so anyway this has been uh, mycadsite.com and this is tutorial 4-3 and if you visit my website mycadsite.com you'll get a free AutoCAD course no registration required uh, broken down into four levels that'll teach you AutoCAD from the very basics into 3d modeling and rendering thanks for watching